tightness in the neck, low back, and hip issues. Um, first, I just want to get a visual of what's going on. She was told she has scoliosis. Now, we can see a little bit of the protrusion going on in here. Okay. We will be sending her out for films okay, to evaluate and analyze to make sure and see if this is, an, if this is correctable or a management issue. Okay? But just looking at the overall contour of the spine, scapulas, and now I'm surprised, the scapulas are actually even considering that we have something going on over here. Scapulars even, she has a little bit of hiking on this left side. Okay, when we're looking at the low back, we can see the rotation here of the sacrum. So this right side comes back more than the left side here. Okay, just looking at it, it looks rotated that way. Next, head down please. I just want to get an overall feel, temperature wise. Back of the palm, so for temperature, to check temperature, back of the palm is going to be sensitive. And what's interesting, most of your heat is here. We're getting a pretty big reading here, top left. Top left atlas. It's about a 15, 20 pointer there. I'll explain that on the model in just a second. I'm getting pressure around T6, T7. This is part of the area that controls digestion. Now, we have to just be mindful and follow the contours of the spine. We can see it goes off just a little bit to the left. And the bottom right. So I'm getting pressure bottom right here. I'm getting pressure mid-back here. I'm getting pressure top of the neck here. Next part, let's do the uh, static palpation. What we're feeling for here, Megan, is we're feeling for swelling, edema, looking for redness. And when I get to the segment, this should be tender right there. Mm -hmm. Is it more tender at the bottom one, or the, I feel it more here? Yeah, that one. That one's not as bad. Mm -mm. Okay. And that corresponds to the break. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, number six. The other thing, I mean, the neck can be affected as far down as that also, by the way. Let's check the motion of the pelvis, feet together. Right side only, left side only. You see how the whole thing is shifting with that? Right side only. Okay, scoot back towards me, please. This is definitely starting in the pelvis, Megan. So this right side sits higher than this left side, okay? You can see this right side is higher, okay? And the right side is flatter. So what that tells us, right pelvis has gone up and in. That's what's causing that hip flexor, potentially, and causing external rotation of the foot. So it's like the pelvis is going this way, your spine is going the opposite way. Hmm. And the disconnect is in that mid-back. T6, right pelvis, atlas, C2. Okay, so you have what's called a critical atlas. This is the upper cervical complex, okay? This is the base of the skull. Mm -hmm. This is C1, C2, C3. I want you to think of this. This is the spinal cord. This okay. is where the spinal cord sits. When you put your fingers in there, put two, three fingers in there, put three so it's snug, okay? Now, imagine that's the spinal cord. The messages are coming from the brainstem down to power the body and control it. What happens if it does this? It's putting tension on the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. We don't know what tracks or fibers specifically is doing, but it's affecting the entire cord. Why I'm saying that is because the needle kind of sticks one way versus the other, okay? So the first thing we want to do is clear this. We clear this, I'll have you walk, and then we're going to do your pelvis. Here we go. I'm going to start out with C2. If you want to close your eyes, you can. C2, let's just get a nice, that's it, set. That wasn't so bad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I needed to do that to get a better foundation for C1. And that's going to be here, C1. I need to stabilize down just a bit. There we go. There. Gotcha. Okay. With what we just did, walk it off. 
that uh, should already feel different. Cool. Her walk has changed. The pelvis has changed just from that. We're still adjusting the pelvis, though. Watch her spine. You see the difference there? It's not. It's there, but it's less. Let's recheck up top. And I'm hoping, there you go. I'm hoping T6 is clear. Yes. I will be contacting there. Okay. Okay. One, two, two, right there. Tender, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. Hold on. Walk it off. Yep. Up on your toes and walk. On your heels and walk. And have a seat. Because this side was stuck, mm -hmm. when you move the left side, it goes with it. Right. Okay, but when you were doing the right side, like do the right side only. Okay, that's fine. The left side wasn't going anywhere. Now do the left side. So it moves a little bit on the right, but not like it was. The whole thing was shifting like uh -huh. this. Okay? That's good. Okay. Grab the elbow. Around over and down. Down. There you go. <laughs> Around, over, and down. There you go. Squeeze my hands. This is something I do to check the elbows and wrists, okay? So as we're squeezing, I can feel that the elbow is out there. Just set it right back in. Scaff white. Looney. Almost. There. What is that from? Why would that be out? I mean, the way I the way I explain it, think of this like a pulley system. Mm -hmm. These are the pulleys, these are the cables. If the pulley is out of alignment, the cables don't work right. So what I'm feeling for is more of the alignment issue. It's life. Squeeze hard. Squeeze. Let's do your ears now. What? <laughs> Doesn't hurt. And last thing I want to check is your jaw. Open your mouth slow. Slowly close. Slower. So you can feel it deviates mm -hmm. this way. Opens up that way. Open. 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 Slowly start to close. Slowly. Open. By the way, on the film, we'll see TMJ. We'll okay. see nasal septum. We'll see shoulders. We'll see spine, pelvis, everything we need. Go. Welcome to the Thank office. Thank you so much. You're welcome.